In Ethiopia, an airstrike has wounded at least one person in Mekele, the capital of the northern Tigray region. That's according to a hospital official. It comes two days after Tigrayan forces. The TPLF said that they were ready for a ceasefire with the federal government and accept a peace process led by the African Union. The two-year-old civil war resumed last month after a five-month ceasefire with each side blaming each other for their renewed fighting. Well, joining me now is Hirut Zemene. She is the Ethiopian ambassador to Benelux and EU institutions. Ambassador, thank you so much for being with us here on Euronews. Now, there was hope yesterday. Thank you, Ambassador. Now, there was hope yesterday of a ceasefire. Of course, you will have heard the latest developments on the ground about an airstrike. Are you worried that this could lead to more fighting when there's a wish for de-escalation? Well, um, Helena, thank you very much. We are, uh, have been always anticipating that uh, uh, the solution to this problem is a, a negotiated uh, settlement. And in this regard, you know, the African Union uh, uh, peace process has been rolled for uh, several months now. And the government has uh, declared an indefinite uh, uh, humanitarian truce. So you can't say at this stage whether the, the drone strike which we saw in Michaela uh, came from the government? Well, you know, uh, on uh, August 24, uh, the TPLF uh, leadership has pro provoked the third round of conflict uh, between uh, uh, the two uh, parties. And uh, we are in a defensive mode. We are trying to defend the territorial integrity and the sovereignty of the country. So talking about the peace process and the mediation from the African Union, we know that the TPLF has previously expressed major concerns about the AU's mediation. It's made demands for the government. It's demanded that it restore major services when it comes to banking and communication to Tigray before any talks can be held. Will the federal government do that? Look, uh, there is a misconception about uh, the service delivery aspect to our compatriots in Tigray. That should not be a precondition at all. It has never been uh, put as a hostage for negotiation because this is a basic service that should be delivered to our people. But rather, because of the conflict, it was very difficult um, to ascertain this. And let's talk about the humanitarian situation on the ground right now then, because it is dire. According to the United Nations, we've got over 90% of the population in desperate need of aid. So will the government prioritise getting aid into the area? For sure. It has been doing that for several months now. And if you might recall, the reason why the indefinite humanitarian truce was declared in March was to facilitate to expedite and to, to argument the humanitarian delivery that was being extended to, to the region. But, you know, many parts of the country are now in need of humanitarian assistance due to the cyclical uh, uh, drought. The Horn of Africa region, Ethiopia, Somalia and Kenya are faced with this, as you know. So the need is huge. It's immense, but uh, we are doing all we can.